Hi everybody, Chelsea here. Welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for returning. And just thank you so much for watching and joining me. Um, I'm just gonna do, I'm just doing this little intro real quick. Uh, this is a channel mostly about cross stitch. However, I did just recently um, start working on diamond painting. So I will uh, be also be showing you a finished diamond painting piece. So, yep, here we go. So the first piece I am showing you is my first FFO for this year. This is Ava, I finished her last year and I just framed her myself. I got this gold frame at a garage, a garage sale, excuse me, and um, I just thought she looked perfect on it because of her gold broom and um, the bats I added myself, but that is what she looks like. Okay, so now on to my whips. If I didn't say before, I uh, fully finished Ava on the 16th of, uh, Feb of February this year. So last month. This is, uh, my video is everything I worked on last month in February. So this is Goat Load. This is Plum, this is by Plum, Plum Street Samplers. And I started it on September 7th last year. It's on 14 count Ada in light oatmeal. And I worked on this for a total of two days. So that is what that looks like right now. Um, as you can see, I definitely went a different route on the flower color. So I still have to finish the, the flowers on the pot. I have the big sheep or goat, big goat rather, and then the uh, grass hill and some more flowers. So this one I'm, I just showed you. This is what this one will look like. This is Speculum Mentis, and I named him Caspian. And this is what he looks like now. Uh, this is an unconventional X stitch design um, that you can find on Etsy. I think they also have like an actual web website. Um, I worked on this for a total of three days and I did roughly 521 stitches. I didn't um, specifically count my stitches the very first day that I worked on him. This is on 28 count even weave in ivory by RTC and I'm doing it one over one. And I started this on July 8th of last year. And also um, I'm doing, I'm doing no new starts this year. So everything you are seeing is either started last year or in previous years before with uh, one minor exception. So on to this one. This is the 2020 um, Pandemic Sampler by Christy uh, Stephenson. She, um, she gave this as a freebie. Um, I think she's, she was doing some kind of charity thing, so. But how beautiful is this and this is where i'm at so um i called this one md for emily and megan main megan made me do it because um emily c started this for her birthday which is her birthday month is this month is is this month march and um but since I am doing no new starts, I had to start it last year. So I did start this last year on December 22nd. And um, it's on 20 
to count Heart Anger Ada by Zwagart, and I actually hand dyed this myself with um, pearl gray. So that's what that one looks like. So next is Sweet Remembrance. Oh, um, I worked on uh, the pandemic sampler for one day um, in February. So uh, Sweet Remembrance here. I only worked on this for one day, uh, Mystic Stitch. It's on 14 count Ada in antique white. And I started it on August 7th of 2015. Um, this piece could possibly be going on to adopt the whip or just given away because what I did is I purchased a diamond painting in this exact thing and I'm gonna see if I like it better because this is all I have done. It's a 2015 whip, you guys, and this is all I have done. Each page is pretty confetti heavy and it can get to my head sometimes, so I'm gonna try the diamond painting. And we'll see how that goes. It would be cool to do both, but I think that would be a little too overwhelming, so I'm gonna try the diamond painting. So next on my list is a Leopard in Waiting. This is a custom crafts and I worked on, um, oh, by the way, I named him Angus and I worked on him for a total of one day and I got 70 stitches in um, and I started him, I, I originally started him on August 6th of 2015 but I didn't like the fabric he was on. So I actually restarted him on February 5th, 15th of last year. And it is on 28 count Jobelin uh, Lamb's Wool by Witchelt. Um, this is actually, this actually goes this way, sorry. So that's what that looks like right now. Um, I originally had, uh, the, the very first time I started him, I had some, I had stitches all the way down to like, say right here. So restarting it, I'm a little behind, but that's okay. Now this lovely lady right here is Chimera Black Rose by Laura Prindle. It's a heaven and earth design. And I worked on it for only one day last month. And I got a total of 60 stitches. Um, so another restarted one. I originally started this on September 19th of 2016. And it was on, I had her, I had her on 14 count Ada. And now looking at this, you guys might have think, thought I was crazy. And yes, I, th I think I was. So I knew it was going to be too big. Plus, I wasn't really enjoying the fabric either, so I decided to restart her on February 24th of last year. I'm stitching this one one over one as well. It is 28 count even weave antique white by MCG Textiles. So I went to the end of the page and feathered a little bit into the next page. So that's as big as the first page will be, and I believe this sec uh, going downward, I think it ends right about here. It could be a give or take. Uh, let's see, oops. On to the next one um, is Reindeer 2. I also have Reindeer 1, or actually it's just called Reindeer, but um, I haven't worked on him in a while, so yeah another uh, Mystic Stitch, and I named him Alfred. I only worked on this one again only for one day, but I got 266 stitches in. And this is on 18 count Ada in Antique White. 
started this on December 1st of 2015 and that is where I'm at. I did actually um, take the black all the way to the end. So from here to here is three full pages. And these pages aren't as big as um, Heaven and Earth Designs. But mostly black, but you can kind of see the little bit of purple in there and a little bit of hair. <laughs> Sorry about that one. Um, moving right along is Winter Green Wishes, uh, another Heaven and Earth Design. And uh, this is by Hannah Lynn. And I worked on this also for one day in February. And I got 160 stitches in. Uh, this is on 28 count even weave of sorts. And I started this one on August 7th of 2015. And that is what she looks, or that's where she is at right now. Um, Looks like I also took this to the end of the page a little bit. Um, and then, so I haven't shown her in a long time. The last time you would have seen her, she only had about like that much done and ignore that. So I went over a little bit like that. You may think, what is this thing underneath? And I'm using a stamped piece of fabric, but once it's all done, um, you won't even, see this little boy underneath. Um, pick that one up, okay. Okay, so this one, this is um, actually called Hold On Quote by Industrious Owl Endeavors. I'm calling it the fairy tale emblem. Um, if any of you watch anime, there is a show called Fairy Tale. And the guild has, each guild in this realm has uh, their own um, emblem, like their own um, tattoo. Yeah, they, they actually, they tattoo it on their arms or wherever they want it. And this is what Fairy Tale emblem looks like. So kind of a bird, kind of flames going on there. But I am doing it to look more like fire because one of the characters in there, his name is Natsu and he's a fire dragon. Or at least he, he can breathe fire. He's still human, but yeah, they all have like specific powers and such. Um, I worked on this for a total of one day in February. It's on 22 count Hard Anger Ada in white by Zwagart. And I started this one on December 28th of last year. And it is going to be a gift. Um, I am definitely behind, but you know what? That's okay. But I'm, I'm still hoping to finish it this year. And moving on to another Heaven and Earth design uh, by Hannah Lynn. And this is Mad Hatter. And I worked on her for a total of one day last month. And But I got in 242 stitches. Um, so this was my exception, sort of, sort of. Because um, I originally had her on 28 count even weave and I had started her on May 19th of 2015 but the picture here was not looking like what I was stitching so I restarted her on 18 count Ada in ivory and I'm kind of doing color changes very minimally as much as possible so I did restart this one on January 24th of this year, so 2021. So this does not count as a new start. She is a restart. So I'm trying to get 
the green up in here to pop out because originally it had me stitching mostly like 3078 which is like a creamy color and it just was not coming out the way I wanted it to. Oops, sorry about that. So this is now what I have. So I have a lot to catch up on because originally I, I was very close to a page finish actually, but I'm no longer at that point. But again, that's okay. And then I believe, uh, not, not technically the last one. This one, I don't have a picture of because literally the only thing that was sent to me was, um, was the chart. So it's a freebie by Creatively Stitching. Um, I worked on this for one day. It's on 14 Count Ada in Antique White by Charles Craft. I started it on October 24th of 2020. Um, you may be wondering what it is, and it's going to be a Halloween frog, and I named him Jacques. So this is part of his hat. It extends out a little bit this way, and then eventually it'll come down, and you'll see the frog eventually. So that's where he's at. It's all, So yeah, a lot of black, but when I get down to the... Um, the frog himself to Jacques himself. Um, there's a lot of green. So be prepared. <laughs> okay, so the last one I have to show you is Celia. So this is Celia. And again, another Heaven and Earth design. Hannah Lynn. Um, I started this one on December 1st of 2014. So she is my oldest whip. She's going to get done this year. I'm, a, I'm definitely going to finish her this year. This is on 32 count linen in white by mcg textiles and i worked on this for a total of 25 days in february and got 4480 stitches i have been working on her since then so she will have more done um yeah she'll have more done um i believe the last time you saw her i had finished this half page or I was close to being finished with this half page. Um, and for those of you who do not remember, I am having to work on her like this because the fabric was just too, um, too big to fit in the frame the other way. So this, I should have, this is where she is at. And I'm kind of, so this, is two pages, two full pages. I'm kind of working on um, both of them at the same time. But yeah, she's getting there and boy howdy, she's beautiful. So that was the end of all my whips. I don't have any finishes for this year yet, but um, I believe I mentioned that I took up diamond painting just recently, not really not that long ago. And um, I'm gonna show you my finished piece. So, um, I took this to Hobby Lobby and they kind of sort of framed it for me because it's not fully framed. Um, you can still feel the fabric and then the drills or diamonds. Um, it's definitely sparklier than it looks on camera, but I think it's gorgeous and I love how it um, looks. So yeah. 
So that is it, everybody. Um, those are all my whips. That's my finished diamond painting piece. Um, I did just start a new one. And when he is finished, I will show him to you as well. But he probably won't be finished um, the next time I do a video. But um, thank you so much for watching and subscribing. And stay safe and happy stitching. Bye-bye.